Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. It took me a lot of time to make this aura guide, so I hope you learned something new. He's my favorite character in the game because of how abstract he is, so I hope this guide can teach you more about him. If you have any questions, feel free to post them in the comments. I'll be sure to answer them when I get the chance. Thanks again. First button on the list is Stand Light Punch. It is or as fast as normal and it comes in at 3 frames. It's plus 2 on block and it doesn't push very far away, so you can use that as a tick throw. It also converts into Stand Light Kick. The next button is Crouch Light Punch. Uh, Crouch Light Punch is really good. It's 4 frames and it goes very far. Um, it's also plus 2. It's great as a tick throw as well, but you cannot go into EX Crescent Kicks with this button. So instead you have to use the hit grab. Stand light kick is the next button. Uh, this button is used basically only to go into EX Crescent Kick and Medium Crescent Kick. It's a 5 frame light so you can't really use it that much on defense but you can convert out of it on defense. So instead of going like this... I instead would go like this. The next button is Crouch Light Kick. It is 4 frames. It is uh, good for being a low, 4 frames, and being able to fast cancel. I see it used a lot in the corner with the knee, so that's something to look out for as an Oro player. If you want to use uh, the Crouch Light Kick a lot, you can use it in conjunction with the knee to get lots of pressure in the corner. The next button is Stand Medium Punch. It is a great anti-air. You can only use it as an anti-air above Oro's head. But for what it is, you can get amazing conversions from it. It's also a great whiff punish. Next is Crouch Medium Punch. It's great as a poke. Stand Medium Kick is a great pressure tool. It's short, stubby, but 6 frames and plus 3 on block, and it pushes back nowhere. Crouching Medium Kick is a standard low confirm. It's great as a poke and a low whiff punish. Stan Heavy Punch is great as a poke and great as a confirm. And it's also great as a whiff punish. This is a common theme with Oro's kit. Very long, pokesy buttons or hit confirms. Stan Heavy Kick is great as a poke. It has very far range and decent damage. It also crush counters. Crouch Heavy Punch is a great anti-air for going in front of Oro's head. It's also used in his highest damage in combos. Oro's sweep goes very far. That is all. Forward medium punch is good as a poke and a hit confirm. The next button is forward medium kick and this button is really good in the corner. Um, if you space it correctly, you can space it to be plus 3. And when you space it to be plus 3, you can end up looping it. Oro's final normal is back medium kick. Um, I don't really see it used too much, I don't think it's very good. It evades lows and goes pretty far, but because of its poor frame advantage and poor startup and recovery, I don't think it's very good. Oro's forward throw doesn't leave him very close to the opponent at all. You can dash in, however, and be negative too. Most Oro players like to meet you with forward medium punch. But high level ones would meet you with the knee. His back throw leaves you pretty far, but in the corner it's plus 6 on dash. On the surface, Oro's fireballs look pretty good. One very slow and one very fast fireball. The rest of the cast only takes 40 frames of shards for all of their special moves, but Oro takes 45. That's one significant disadvantage to his zoning. The 5 extra frames dulls the zoning. Oro also has an EX version that tracks the opponent. This is great for setting up zoning against opponents. Oro 
Oro has a new special move called Crescent Kick. The light version is negative 8 and using block strings. And uses a combo ender from his lights. With medium Crescent Kick, people try to look for hit confirms and use that to go into pressure. The heavy version is the coolest in my opinion. This one launches the opponent full screen and lets Oro zone much easier. All three versions of Oro's DPs can be used as anti-airs and combo enders. Oro also has an anti-fireball option, Chicken Feet. Oro also has a hit grab. It switches size and it does lots of damage. Normal versions are minus 2 on dash, but the EX version is plus 2. His V-Skill 1 is a slow mountainous projectile with a long startup, but once you get it out it's super useful. Here are some setups. He skill 2 is a small hop that can be cancelled into two follow-ups. The punch follow-up is an overhead. While the kick follow-up isn't. It's safe though. You can get some really neat juggles involving V-Skill 2 as well. I'm gonna skip V-Trigger 2 in this guide, just know that it's great to have fun with. It's alright, it just can't compare to Tengu Stones. Tengu Stones is the strongest V-Trigger in Street Fighter V. Once activated, it turns every single match on its head. The damage you can get from it is insane. I didn't use a single bar of meter for that combo, and if you optimize, it gets even worse. Thanks for watching, I might upload one for Honda soon, I'm not sure.